Okay, well, uh, thank you very much for all coming on to the uh, second of our C21 talks. Um, today we're very lucky to have um, Craig Jordan Baker here. Um, Craig uh, is a uh, rather kind of eclectic background. He's um, studied creative writing, English literature, and did his uh, PhD in philosophy. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so, good kind of all rounder. Um, Craig is a Brighton academic. He works um, for the uh, Film and Screen Studies degree um, here at Brighton and also uh, is an associate lecturer for the um, Open University. Um, Craig uh, is currently doing work on the uh, pedagogy of creative writing. He's going to be presenting at an international conference on uh, the philosophy of, of creative writing uh, in London. Um, he's also <coughs> recently been given a commission um, by Brighton uh, Theatre Royal um, for a historical theatrical talk, which sounds very exciting. <laughs> um, and uh, also his, 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 um, his, his plays have appeared in various fringe venues throughout London. Um, so he's a good kind of combination of academic philosopher and uh, <laughs> practitioner. And he's, today he's going to be talking to us about a recent adaptation of Beowulf, I hope I've pronounced it yep, right, yeah, that's right, yeah. um, and, uh, which was produced for uh, uh, the uh, Barely Human Puppet um, Theatre Group. So um, thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. Hi. Um, okay, so let me, I want to kind of begin by saying I was asked to give this paper as a practitioner and I've been to enough, uh, enough practitioner's papers to know that there's a structural problem or a structural risk with practitioner's pa papers in that um, practitioners often tend to do what uh, academics tell their undergraduates not to do um, and that is when you're writing about a subject you don't just simply give a list of particulars going this happened, then this happened, then this happened. So, and I've, uh, and um, I'm acutely aware of uh, practitioners newspapers ending up like, like just like a, a summary list of what went on and I'm going to endeavor to make that not the case here um, so I'm going to be talking about uh, yeah uh, text history and dramatic form in my adaptation of Beowulf um, uh, I'm, I'm going to be uh, looking at three ways I'm going to be sort of working through uh, with a certain methodology and I'm aware that you can't see any of that it, <laughs> but, but still nevertheless I'll outline them for you. Um, first I want to give an account of my reading of Beowulf the original as a poetic text of its themes, its context and its characters um, and I'll say now I'm not a scholar of uh, Saxon or, or, or Beowulf in particular um, but, uh, and I've approached it as, a, as you might say as a writer approaches something but of course how does a writer approach something? Well, I would say, generally speaking, writers approach something by um, uh, uh, looking at text and finding uh, and seeing what seems most thematically rich and interesting. And I'm hopefully going to be bringing some of that out by giving um, a, uh, something of a, a close reading of certain aspects of, of, of the Beowulf original. I'll then be moving on to talk about uh, the connection between, uh, between my reading of Beowulf and then my own adaptation and how I've sort of taken certain central themes from the, from the Saxon poem and hopefully translated them somewhat successfully into a, into a theatrical production. And um, after this, I want to kind of uh, round off by talking a little bit about interdisciplinarity in uh, higher education, because I think what um, what hopefully this process will show is that it, it, is that the, uh, is that there are many interesting inter, uh, interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary overlaps which are often neglected. I think there's a lot of talk about interdisciplinarity in HE, but to, but uh, especially on creative writing courses, it's something which doesn't often occur and isn't quite uh, and the kind of second resource of actually um, cross pollination isn't actually exploited. So um. So so that's, that's my uh, direction of travel, and I will now, um, I will now uh, put you in, 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 the, um, in the Geetish bark and send you on your way.